Today, we're getting up close and personal, and we're breaking it down to the smallest details. Welcome back to Nylon Theory. And today on Gear in 90 Seconds, we're gonna be talking about the National Molding Tactic Buckle versus the much more popular First Spear Tubes. We're not even gonna talk about rock buckles because they suck. First Spear Tubes work by having a small plastic cylinder that locks into an outer shroud and can move either way with a simple pull, allowing for easy quick release. They cannot be removed vertically, however, this is advantageous because they foul less easily and are slightly more durable in my experience. Comparing that now to the National Molding Tactic Buckle, this locks in with a pair of almost wedge shapes. Those lock into each other, like so, and they can be removed vertically or horizontally with a simple pull in any direction. The disadvantage to this system, and this is one that I've actually had happen to me at uh, Integrated Training Exercise or ITX with the Marines, was that these wedges can get pebbles in them if you leave them unlocked. So when your plate carrier is not in use, make sure that you lock these back up or it'll collect debris and then when you have to put it on, it'll be inconvenient and it won't actually lock and you'll have to clear it out with a knife like I did. Whichever one you choose, just know the system you're getting. I'll see you next time.